Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. In Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. A Las Vegas man is accused of throwing boulders at moving vehicles. Clark County School District Police arrested 36-year-old Ronald Castro. They say a citizen flagged down an officer near Bermuda Road and St. Rose Parkway to report their damaged vehicle. Thankfully, no injuries were reported. And attorneys want to know more about Tony Shea's dealings with Hollywood figures. Lawyers for the late Zappos leader's main creditor filed notices of intent to subpoena actors Joseph Gordon-Levitt and David Arquette. They want to know about Shea's plans to invest in the actors' companies and projects, as well as the actors' previous concerns about Shea's mental health. Plus, addressing the teacher shortage. The Nevada Department of Ed plans to create a $20.7 million incentive program for aspiring teachers, funded by federal coronavirus relief money. To be able to prepare better in order to pass the test on the first try rather than taking multiple tries to do that. And in some cases, there are some people who aren't able to pass the practice exams at all, and that can be essentially an end to their career before it begins. Meanwhile, Study.com will provide test prep scholarships to aspiring teachers in Nevada. In Entertainment, sponsored by DiscoverNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada. After running through the rumor mill, it's official. An international superstar announces a residency on the Las Vegas Strip starting in January. Review Journal's John Katsimidis has more. Her residency has been called the Brass Ring among Las Vegas Strip headliners. We are talking about Adele. She is signed to perform at the Coliseum at Caesars Palace from January 21st through April 16th. You can register for tickets at Ticketmaster.com. It doesn't guarantee you're going to get them. They might not even be on sale to the public, but we do know that Adele will be at the Coliseum from January to April in support of her new album, 30. Now to your weather, sponsored by One Hour Air. No matter the season, no matter the reason, one hour is here for you. A pleasant night with temps in the 60s. It'll get chilly in the overnight hours down to the 40s. On to your Wednesday, you can expect sunny skies with a high of 75 and low of 45 degrees. Similar temps on Thursday, except for some clouds rolling in. Sunny skies are back for your Friday and through the weekend before the clouds make a return by Monday and highs dip into the 60s by Tuesday. In Health, sponsored by 4M Dental, love your smile again. A prominent OBGYN is being remembered as a great leader in the Las Vegas medical community. Dr. Kenneth Warren Volker died at the age of 58. Volker was Nevada's chief clinical officer for Intermountain Healthcare and a pioneer of minimally invasive surgery. He's also credited with helping UNLV establish the Kirk Kirkorian School of Medicine. The school's dean calls Volker, quote, an inspirational leader. And a Nevada state police trooper dies from COVID complications. Police say 54-year-old Cliff Fontaine died Saturday after being hospitalized in October. Fontaine was a 16-year veteran of the state police and served as an EMT in Las Vegas for over 20 years. In Business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. More on the COVID front, tourism leaders are getting jittery about the new Omicron variant after the U.S. just opened up to international travel. People are still waiting to get more information. They're a little bit nervous, they're a little bit jittery about things, but at the same time, it's not going to be a problem uh, if this turns out to be something that can be alleviated by uh, vaccines. The U.S. joined several nations in restricting travel from eight high-risk African countries. At the same time, the Las Vegas airport is seeing its busiest month since the pandemic. McCarran International saw 4.18 million travelers pass through in October, the busiest month since the pandemic started impacting travel in early 2020.
And a federal appeals court says station casinos will have to bargain in good faith with unions for employees at Red Rock Resort. A panel of judges from the 9th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals affirmed a district judge's order until a federal labor board makes a ruling. Sports, sponsored by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app and get a bonus up to $100 when you sign up. For the second year, a ULV football player has earned the Mountain West Freshman of the Year award. True freshman quarterback Cameron Friel received the honor after setting a program record for completion percentage in a season by a freshman, completing 62.4% of his throws. He also threw for 1,608 yards and six touchdowns. Senior running back Charles Williams was named the all-conference first team for the second time in his career. Junior linebacker Jacoby Winman was also selected to the All-Mountain West second team. Winman announced Sunday that he'd be entering the transfer portal. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. Tampa Bay quarterback Tom Brady is the plus 350 favorite at the Westgate Superbook in a jumbled NFL MVP race. Buffalo quarterback Josh Allen and Green Bay quarterback Aaron Rodgers are next at 5-1, followed by Kansas City quarterback Patrick Mahomes at 7-1. Arizona quarterback Kyler Murray is 10-1 despite missing the past three games because of injury. Raiders quarterback Derek Carr is tied for 12th on the list at 60-1. In Lifestyle, sponsored by Glittering Lights at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, the Neon Museum honors local pioneers through its new mural, Las Vegas Luminaries. Review Journal's Renee Semmerauer has more on what you can expect by mid-December. Renee? Jen Liberace and Sammy Davis Jr., everyone knows who they are and their impact that they've had in Las Vegas. But what about Kenny Kerr or Theodora Boyd, Paul Revere Williams? Well, they're all cultural groundbreakers that you'll find in this 808 square foot mural. It will appear on the south wall of the Neon Museum's North Gallery, a sort of pre-show appetizer for visitors waiting to catch the museum's brilliant show, which will premiere in mid-December. I was really happy to know more about these people and I'm really hoping that this this mural can teach others as well about the stories that are, you know, not told or less told. The mural also will be Southern Nevada's latest piece of public art viewable by anyone anytime at no charge. Organizers say the mural is quote the first of many steps we're going to be taking to highlight key people who made a significant difference in Las Vegas but may not be well known. Jen. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you have a Roku device, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.